Gaskin Youth, hey, glad to see you on this Wednesday afternoon, uh, May 6th. Um, as always, uh, Miss Krista, Miss Amanda, Miss Stanley, uh, they all say uh, to tell you hello. They love you. They miss you. Uh, and uh, we're just waiting for that day when we can uh, fellowship again one with another and uh, meet on Wednesday nights and uh, Sundays and just see our brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, we're going to do a, a lesson tonight. I, I don't think it's going to be as long as uh, the last few weeks. We'll see. Every time I say that, it ends up being longer. And I remember Brother David uh, telling me that same thing here a while back about his uh, sermons. Uh, but tonight, the uh, lesson we're going to look at is entitled Push, and that's P-U-S-H, Push. Uh, and I, I'll explain that to you in a minute why it's entitled that. But uh, the scripture tonight, for those of you following along, comes from Matthew 7, uh, 7, chapter 7, verse 7. And it says, keep asking and it will be given unto you. Uh, keep searching and you will find. Keep knocking and the door will be open to you. Uh, you know, sometimes we relate sports to uh, our lessons. Uh, and tonight we're going to be talking about a, a NBA player by the name of Reggie Miller. Uh, Reggie Miller uh, played for the Indiana Pacers. And uh, back in 1995, they were playing in the Eastern Conference Finals. And there was 32 seconds left in the game. Everybody thought the game was over, uh, except for Reggie Miller. And uh, he ended up scoring eight points in the last 32 seconds of that game, uh, giving them a, uh, a three-point victory uh, over the New York Knicks. Uh, you know, it was, it was never say die heroics uh, in the closing seconds of that game, uh, give uh, fans just a thrilling end of that, that game uh, in those NBA Conference Finals. Um, you know, throughout Reggie Miller's 18-year career with the Pacers, uh, he was a picture of persistence. I mean, just uh, every night out on the court, gave us all, played, you know, just give everything he had, injured, not injured. Um, you know, he didn't make every clutch shot throughout his career that he took, but he never stopped shooting them, all right? And, uh, you know, they were doing an interview with Reggie Miller one night uh, following one of his uh, final NBA games. And he summed up his career by saying, uh, I tried, I showed, uh, I showed up every game, and I tried. And that was his uh, going away speech. You know, it was, hey, I tried. Every time I stepped down the floor, I tried. I give it my all. And, uh, you know, just as Reggie Miller sort of modeled persistence for us, uh, you know, as good Christians, uh, we should model that persistence as well when we're talking about prayer. Uh, and that's what we're talking about tonight. Um, you know, uh, Christians, you know, you've got a friend, you've got someone, a family member going through something tough. You know, we should be praying for them and not just uh, going through the motions, but praying for them sincerely. And, uh, you know, we have a, a need in our life. I didn't say a want. I'm not talking about that Ferrari. We want to be parked out there in the yard. I'm talking about a, a need. Um, uh, you know, uh, Brother... Brother David here, uh, not too long ago in one of his sermons talked about prayer and he talked about our prayer life. You know, sometimes it sounds like a daggum Christmas list, a wish list, you know, when we pray and that's not the way it should be. Uh, but you know, being persistent in prayer, just like Reggie Miller was when he, you know, just keep giving it our all. Every time we go to the Lord in prayer, being, uh, you know, uh, sincere and, uh, you know, uh, asking him, uh, you know, to, uh, uh, you know, to, uh, whatever the need is, whether it be healing for a friend or, or a loved one, uh, someone in our church, uh, that we would just be persistent in it. Um, you know, uh, that persistence that we talked about, you know, Reggie Miller, uh, can the same be said for us concerning our prayers? Um, you know, have we talked with God regularly and honestly? Have we persisted in prayer, even during times when God seemed so far off, seemed like the prayer request wasn't being answered? Uh, you know, Jesus said, keep searching and you will find in that scripture in Matthew. And, uh, you know, we're to continue to come to God, um, you know, with our request, even if we feel like nothing's happening with them. Uh, and that's hard to do sometimes. Um, but, uh, you know, the push tonight, the title of the lesson, you know, you've seen some of those bracelets, uh, you know, that have acronyms. And the push 
stands for uh, pray until something happens. And uh, man, that's awesome when we think about that. Pray until something happens. Uh, you know, it's a great reminder that we should, you know, never give up, never give up. Uh, you know, when it comes to uh, making our request known to God, you know, who loves us and sent his son for us, um, you know, to reconcile us to himself. Um, we got some questions for you tonight, thinking about that, uh, you know, the, the persistence uh, prayer. Uh, as we're going through this COVID-19 and we're, we're sort of in uncharted territory as we see, uh, you know, uh, differences every day in the news, what we're hearing, what we're seeing. And, uh, you know, we have, you know, people going through uh, different things right now as far as being out of jobs and uh, moms and dads and, you know, teenagers and businesses, you know, not being able to work, not being able to make ends meet. Um, you know, we need to be in prayer. If we're sitting there and we're drawing our check, you know, some of us are. And, um, you know, we need to be praying for the ones that's not and doing what we can for our community. Uh, but the questions tonight, I'm going to ask you to go along with this lesson, just a real simple lesson about being persistent in prayer, um, is uh, what kind of attitude do you have when it comes to being uh, persevering uh, in prayer? Um have you ever given up on praying for something? If so, why? Are you willing to resume that particular prayer and bring it back to the Father? Good question right there. That's for adults and, and for us youth. That's for me and Brother Stanley, Miss Krista, Miss Amanda, anybody else of the parents that's listening to this. Uh, if you want some extra reading tonight, look at Luke 18, chapter 18, 1, and also Philippians 4, 6. And Colossians 4, 2. That's just some extra reading that sort of ties in with this lesson. Uh, but, uh, you know, being persistent in prayer, um, not giving up, you know. Uh, Paul says run the race, you know. I mean, fighting the fight, you know. Uh, that, that spiritual warfare, just, you know, praying for something persistently. Uh, you know, as we've got plenty to pray for right now with our nation and, and with our leaders and uh, you know, state and local, you know, as far as well as our government and, uh, you know, just being in prayer for our country in this, in this pandemic and in these, uh, times, you know, that, uh, where everything is, uh, virtual, you know, and then not being able to see each other face to face. Um, tonight we're going to close, uh, with a, uh, just a prayer, uh, to go along with this lesson, uh, says, Lord, forgive me for giving up so easily uh, when it comes to prayer and teach me to persevere in prayer as your unseen hands works in ways I can't see or understand. Draw me into your presence today through your Holy Spirit. God, we just thank you, Lord, for allowing us to come in your presence, Lord, and just, just ask, Lord. You said, ask and we shall receive. Seek and we shall find. And God, we just uh, just thank you for saving us, for sending your son for us. Lord, uh, just taking away our sins, the sins of the world, Father. And we just uh, ask you, Lord, to be with us during this time. Uh, give us strength and courage and boldness to uh, be persistent in our prayer, Lord, when we're uh, praying for something and then just looks like nothing's happening, God. Just uh, stay the course, Father. And uh, we're going to thank you and praise you. And... Uh, for all these things, be with all our youth, Father. Uh, keep them encouraged as we've got a lot of youth that, you know, uh, didn't get to see their senior season out, Father. And uh, their, their senior year, their senior trips and, and different things. And uh, underclassmen that didn't get to finish, uh, you know, end of the year sports and activities. And just ask you, Lord, to be with us as they come to the end of the school year to get all their tests and finals done, Father. And, uh we just uh, thank you and praise you for what you've done and what you're going to do. Be with Brother David, Father, as he brings us the message weekly. And Miss Nikki and, and their family, Father. And uh, just be with all the members of our church, Father, and our youth. And we'll thank you for all these things. In Christ's name, amen. All right, guys. I will see you uh, next week. Be persistent in prayer. And uh, like I say, if you do have prayer requests and you need uh, some prayer for something that's going on in your life, uh, so, your family's life or just someone you know, make sure you get up with uh, one of your youth leaders or Brother David. And uh, until the next time, uh, we love you, we miss you, and we will talk to you next week. Have a good evening.